okay so let's get started first i will explain you about the score structure what all we are going to cover we are going to cover almost everything about swelt js i mean the simple core concept or core concept about swelt js about the core syntax then how to create a simple application intermediate level applications and all the different uh, basic concepts how to handle the forms how to handle the reactive nature how to handle the apis how to to create the store like you you might have heard about react redux and mbox different frameworks and different libraries which are out there with angular and react so how those works like the the concept of the store how to interact with the apis how the component communicates with one another all those things we are going to talk one by one in these different folders first we will just talk about a simple starter app okay so this is the repository that there I, we will keep posting and in this video we will just talk about first starter app before that now main main part uh, here is how the swelt is getting compiled and what it is going to generate and we are calling what is a swelt js if we just talk about the 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 meaning of swelt js i heard that it is just a thin and small nice and small right this is what we want from uh, a library or from our framework this should be lightweight and ultra uh, blazing fast this should be fastest right so how it is different the 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 major difference you will find when it compiles because svelte js is not a framework not a library obviously not a framework you can call it as just a library because we are installing it but it's not even a library it's just a compiler you are writing a swelt syntax which you have to follow okay how to create a component how to uh, create a parent child component and allow a communication how to populate the data from your javascript code to the template those basic syntax you will write then swelt is a compiler which will compile your code into a pure vanilla javascript so till now you have heard about react or angular what react does you write the component you write like okay i write a simple component in react hello world component using create react app and then you just compile it i mean you just build the component using npm run build it gives you the code so that code is not pure vanilla javascript it is also shipping the react library with it so that react library knows how to compile this code and show it on the browser similarly when it comes to angular angular also like when you are writing hello world component in angular then it actually builds using angular cli build it generates the code which is like the es5 code because you are writing typescript code it also ships with the angular compiler because only that comp angular compiler knows how to build the how to render the component on the ui i mean when you do angular eo to the compiler is removed but still you are sending a lot of angular code you are sending that in the bundle which will tell how to which will tell the code how to react on the ui because that is helping to render it on the ui so you are sending a lot of code but when it comes to swelt js what we are writing we are writing syntax in swell okay let's say i write a hello world component it actually we will use the compiler which will build the code and we are just going to get a pure javascript which doesn't need a swell compiler or any additional instruction this is highly optimized runtime generated javascript code and browser already knows how to work with this code it doesn't need any additional library attached by webpack bundler or some other, any other bundler so you see the advantage it's a lightweight it's ultra fast and it's thin because you are not shipping any additional library as your output code okay so this is the, the major advantage and that's why i request each and every web, web developer to at least have a look you may like it or you may not like it i'm not saying that react is doing it in different way vuejs is doing it di in different way they are not good as well there is always pros and cons they are good at what they are doing swell js is providing us another option another opportunity to look things in different way so why can't we do that right we can start exploring swell js and how it how it is working how it is different 
So what we can do is we can get started with a simple project. I can go to the starter and I can just execute the simple code and this will give me the uh, simple Svelte code. I mean it's like a generated code we are going to look into. So it has installed, it, it is just doing a simple cloning. It has ex additionally created a folder and then you can do a install and then npm run dev. So if you look into this folder structure, what do we see? We see a simple folder structure same as the react or any other application. There is a script, there is a public folder, source folder and there is a package.json which contains the dependencies and we used to see we used to see webpack config and all so here we are using rollup rollup is a, the bundler module bundler same as the webpack or any other module bundler exist till today so we'll talk about this uh, rollup later if you look into the dependencies what all things we needed to build this project this is cli so here we are using Svelte 3.0. All the other dependencies are only dev dependencies because those, those are helping us to build the code. Okay, so we are using build and on the dev, on the fly, it will actually launch the HTTP server. And this is just to start the application. So the instructions are same, build, uh, dev and start, same as any other web framework. And then we have a script, public folder, where you can just see simple index.html and your build will be generated here. So if I just try to do npm run build because there is some starter code already there. So it is going to generate the output and what do we have in source? There is some component. So this is our main.js file, the root component and it is passing some props to the app.swell component and it is just having and you will see the structure here here we have a script uh, some html like you can call it as jsx but it's pure html and then we have a styles right so this is uh, you can say a single component contains all the things uh, javascript html and styling and this is your main.js code and your your application is bootstrapping this app component Okay, if we look into this, you can see the role of configuration, what it is doing, it is same as the webpack. It is going to gen it is going to do the build, resolve all the dependencies, going to create an output build. It is looking at this input file. So this is the input and this is the output and these are the plugins which is actually processing. So if this is the input of single file, the output is the bundle file which we are generating inside public. And these are the plugins which are helping to build the code like additional things you wanted to do on top and here we can go to the public and this is the bundle.js that is the output we have generated i wanted to show you uh, how it really works but we will check this compiled code how this really looks like okay and we can just simply do npm run start it will start the application npm run dev so this is the v6 structure this is the root component this is child component and you can see this doesn't look any kind of a typescript javascript you can use typescript also with the swell but you can see it's like plain i, I kind of relate uh, the syntax of swell js with the views js but not not all syntax matches because swell js has its own syntax and it's it has its own world where you have to learn writing the core syntax which is totally different but we are going to have a lot of fun so this is the basic structure which every project is going to have this is like a starter app and you see we, we are not using any dependencies after the build also this uh, this is the final output you have generated and this is not a huge file if you compare the, the build output of the React and Angular, then you will understand what is the output we are generating. Okay, so stay tuned. Uh, let's connect in the next video to deep dive more into Svelte.